What's good, YouTube? If you've been following along, we've gone over the major food delivery services, and I've put together all the data that I've got from the four of them here for you, and I'm gonna share it with you so you can actually look at the data side by side so you can see which one of these services is the most profitable. And if you've been following along, yes, we've done a how-to as well as we've done the full day of doing it. I'll leave the link to those videos in the bottom if you're curious on how to do it, as well as how much I made while doing it if you wanna see the actual video. So first we did Instacart, we did Uber, then we did DoorDash, and then we did Postmates. I did them in those orders as I believe that's how they're gonna be most profitable depending on mileage, hours used as well. But I was incorrect, that is actually not what was the case. So I'm gonna put these up some of the information for each one up on the screen while I go over it. But the most profitable one we found in our area happened to be Uber Eats. Uber Eats, we made $204 in just seven hours with only driving 125 miles. So then I took, calculated this all out for you so you can see hours, how much we made per hour, how much we made per mile, and then roughly how much you'd make per gallon or how much money you invested into your vehicle. So with that, we made roughly $29 an hour, which is pretty good. Um, then we did $1.63 per mile is about how much we were making. And then for my vehicle, I drive a diesel that gets about 35 miles per gallon. I pay about $3 per gallon for that. So that calculates to making about $54 per gallon I drive or about making $54 for every $3 I spend. So that's pretty well off i think it's a pretty good return of investment if you're looking at it that way i mean there's also other costs of having insurance and other things as well but just for something to make quick money that's pretty good next came in pretty close was instacart instacart we made 215 it's a little bit more but we worked for just about 12 hours so the time we spent driving was a lot more as well as we even drove for 140 miles doing instacart so with that calculate out it's about 18 dollars an hour about a dollar fifty a mile and as well using those same amount if i spent three dollars i was able to make about 49.50 per gallon if you look at it that way but we also spent a lot more time doing it as well as with instacart you are not just picking up and dropping off because we're also walking around shopping for people it's not just picking up we're shopping and different things which i sometimes enjoy instead of being stuck in the car the whole time so some people might find that more enjoyable to do instacart Third, we had Postmates, which beat out DoorDash just slightly. I actually anticipated DoorDash would be a little bit better. And I think it might be, you know, I think these last two can probably go back and forth a little bit. I think depending on the day and different things like that. And as well, if you've been paying attention to the news, Postmates actually just got bought by Uber. But from the email I received from Postmates, nothing will take effect until quarter one of next year. So it'll all be the same. But with that, Postmates, we were able to do $103 in nine hours and driving 99 miles. Calculations for that, about $11.44 an hour, a dollar and four cents a mile, and then $33.4 per gallon or $3 spent. And then lastly, with DoorDash, we did $104 in nine hours, 117 miles driven, so $11.55 an hour, 88 cents a mile, and $27.80 per gallon or per $3 spent. So that's the breakdown of the major delivery food services. Of course, there's other ones like Grubhub, um, Caviar, different things like that that I did not try. Um, Instacart also being slightly different than the other three as it isn't just food delivery, but it's one that I know has been more popular and a better way to make money. That's why I threw it into there. As I was as well curious myself to see which one would be better as I was doing Instacart for a while thinking that the gas mileage I mean the miles driven would have been better than on Uber or any of the other ones, but I was proven wrong. So hopefully all this information can help you out if you're choosing to do one of these or make some extra money on the side with the current situation, the economy and everything that is going on. Now, if you want me to do any other ones, you can leave those in the comments and we'll look into doing it. But my next video, if you stay tuned, is going to be on all the ways you can make money with Amazon, either working for them delivering for them or doing it the way that I've been doing by selling things on Amazon. So stay tuned for